Hello YouTube and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about a flywheel ring gear. Um, it's a real simple video but uh, I don't think a lot of y'all might not know um, how to flip a ring gear or that you can flip a ring gear. Um, the ring gear is on the outside of a flywheel. If it's a flex plate that's automatic. They generally come welded in the flex plate replace the flex plate on a standard car that would be a flywheel the outer ring on the flywheel is where the starter engages in did you know that that ringer is pressed on on 80 percent of the vehicles out there um, you know me i say 80 percent 90 percent like it's gospel the numbers don't matter the majority of all ring gears are pressed on a flywheel um, there's some older engines that is casted in it's machined in that's a different animal. We won't even go there. Um, so the ring gear, I'm going to take you to the back. Here we are going to the back again. Uh, I put the flywheel on the table and I'm using a flat blunt punch. Um, if you look at my punch that I have, it's actually a fuel pump push rod um, for, um, off of an engine. So anything will work as long as it's flat and blunt at the end of it. Um, I also have a big uh, a chisel that the end of it has been rounded. So it's a big chisel I can hold with a hammer and hit, but I'm not actually putting a chisel mark in it. Um, so we want to take and use a flat, blunt punch, um, anything, and we want to tap the ring gear all the way around. Don't sit there on one side and knock it off. You'll distort the ring gear and then you're done. Um, we want to sit there and go around in a circle, all the way around. You, you'll see I keep on going around and around, spinning the flywheel, until the ring gear just pops off. We're just moving it off slowly, a little bit at a time. What's going to determine if we can flip a ring gear? Once we get it off and we look at the ring gear, the, there's two things that are going to determine if it's flippable or not flippable. Some of the early vehicles have a cut in the ring gear. So the ring gear actually has a bevel on each tooth to enhance the starter going in, has a little bit of a bevel to, have, to let it uh, engage um, smoother. That's more mo modern ring gears to straight cut, but there are some early dodges, some early ones that have a beveled ring gear. If it's a beveled ring gear, you can't flip it because the other side does not have the bevel in it. Go and replace that ring gear. You don't have to replace the whole flywheel, buy the ring gear. They're fairly inexpensive. So for the most part, if, if uh, a ring gear is 20, 25 bucks, you should just replace the ring gear. Uh, Did you know that you have double life on a ring gear that's straight cut? So if you flip the ring gear and the teeth are in it are all straight cut, you can flip it. There's no bevel on the ring gear, so it's not directional. That's the first clue of a ring gear that can be flipped. The second clue is look at the inside bevel. The outside, we're looking at the teeth. Do they have a, 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 a cut in them? Um, the inside of the ring gear, the inner circle of the ring gear, the bevel. Is there a bevel on both sides? Is one bevel bigger than the other? Normally, uh, there's a bevel on both sides are pretty large. You can flip the ring gear. Sometimes there'll be a bevel on one side of the ring gear and no bevel on the other side. That would be a candidate for not flipping. Um, the reason there's a bevel in there, when they machine that flywheel and they cut that slot in it for the ring gear, they've machined it, it's cut straight. The ring, ring gear has a bevel, so if there's a little bit of an area there that you don't want to cut anything at a, at a 90 that creates a stress point so there'll generally be a radius or a bevel in there so the ring gear has to match that bevel that bevel is cut so not allow it when you press it on to hit that uh, sharp edge so what determines if a ring gear can be flipped does it have a bevel on both sides on the inside and are the teeth do they have a bevel on them? If the teeth have a bevel on them, only on one side, don't flip that ring gear. If the ring gear doesn't have a bevel on both sides of the inside, don't flip that ring gear. Besides that, flip the ring gear. I know that, like I said, they're only 20, 25 bucks. Me personally, that's still a bottle of wine and I'd rather go ahead and flip my ring gear. There's nothing wrong with flipping the ring gear. If you have a lot of teeth that are chewed up, flipping a ring gear could throw it out of balance. Um, but if you just have a couple of teeth that are chipped on a ring gear, um, all right, all that being said, we're not learning anything from me sitting here just talking and maybe we are, um, let's get out to the shop and I'm going to show you how we're going to flip this ring gear. And actually, no, we're not going to get out to the shop. I'm going to give you an old chief trick. Chief, my uncle, you watch enough videos. I talk about chief all the time. You hear chief, he's the original chief. Um, so that's my uncle, Isel Garza. And, um, how would he do a ring gear? 
Um, there are some things we need to talk about. Um, doing a ring gear means you got to when you go to put it back on. I guess that's a better way to put it. How are we going to put the ring gear back on? We're going to use heat to expand the metal, and the ring gear is going to get enlarged, and it's going to just actually slide right on the flywheel. You're not going to have to use a hammer. We're not going to have to beat it on. It's actually going to just drop in, just drop right on. So we got to heat it. I'm going to give you a little story of when I was a kid, and of course, you know, you want to do something different than the way that you were taught. So I own my own shop and I'm gonna do a ring gear and I'm not gonna take the time to properly heat the ring gear up. The way that we would do it back in the day, um, we would throw the ring gear underneath the hot tank. The hot tank's there on uh, boiling up the acid to get hot in a hot tank. We would throw the ring gear, I'm gonna throw the ring gear underneath the hot tank. Um, let it in there underneath it, wait, wait for a while, pull it out, slide right on, we're done. I open up my own shop and I need to know I don't need to know. I open my own shop and I determine I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to learn and do things different. Okay, so I take a torch and I start heating up uh, the ring gear. Awesome. I got a cherry red and went to go put it on to the flywheel. Once it started cooling, I distorted the bejeebas out of this ring gear. I sat there and just went crazy on it, got a cherry red, worked my way around. This thing turned oval. I put it on. Once it cooled, I just turned their new ring gear into junk. Um, trying to do stuff my own way. You could do it with a torch and a rosebud. Um, I see my uncle do it. Here's the difference. Um, watch something being done and take just that part of it and not the full picture and it'll bite you in the butt. My uncle would put the ring gear on top of a cast iron block. So we have a junk block there, throw the ring gear on top of the block and then use the torch to go around and heat the ring gear up. It may not have been said, but I know now that the block was the heat sink. It was sitting there absorbing the heat and allowing it also to hold the heat in. If you have the ring gear on a table or on the edge of a table like I was doing, it was sitting at the end of the table and I was heating it up and I was spinning the ring gear, getting it cherry red. It, it, it cools off too quick. So then you end up getting a cherry red. There's no need to even get a cherry red. It doesn't have to get that hot, people. I did not know that. I saw my uncle doing it. I sat there and, you know, I thought I was just, you know, too, too cool. Well, old school way was the right way to do it. You don't have a hot tank at home to throw it underneath an oven. Um, a barbecue pit would work great. Um, but you might have a, a block of aluminum, a block of steel, or a steel plate. Put the, 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 the ring gear on top of it and heat it there. All that being said, I've gone a long way to take you where I'm talking about. This is going to be a chief moment. Um, chief Cheo would open up the box of the ring gear, pull the ring gear out, close the box, put some solvent on it, and light it on fire and throw the ring gear on top of the box. He would pull out a cigarette, light it, and smoke a cigarette while waiting for the box to burn. Um, once, once again, you're watching and you're just thinking a couple of things. Don't change any of these procedures or it'll bite you in the butt. Don't use gasoline. Cheryl wasn't using gasoline. He's using solvent from the parts washer and solvent burns real slow. L lighter fluid would probably work, um, but gasoline would and would burn the box too, fat, too fast and it wouldn't work. A slow burn is what we want. So you get the box, take the ring gear out, close it, put some solvent on it. Light it, smoke a cigarette. When the fire burns out, grab the ring gear with a pair of pliers, put it on the flywheel, and you're done. And you're thinking, what? I'm going to show you an old-fashioned way. It's going to be a box. I'm going to sit there and light a box on fire outside of my back door, throw the ring gear on top. I'm not lighting a cigarette because I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, did I light a cigar? Um, you might you have to wonder there. Um, when the fire was out, the ring gear was ready. It literally dropped right on the flywheel. Done. Um, no tools um, besides a blunt punch, which you could use anything in your, in your garage to do it. A box that you're lighting on fire. I, I could put a link in the, on, the, on the bottom to my Amazon's, you know, affiliate link program and you can go buy boxes. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the bottom to my Amazon affiliate program and go buy something uh, through my Amazon affiliate program and then burn the box. So at least uh, you say I got it from you. So I went and burned the box that I... Eh, all that's going nowhere. Um, let's get out there and, and show you this um, and then we'll get back here and we'll end the video.
Just taking a regular punch. No trickery dickery duck. Voila, wing gear off, nice and flat, flat, don't go crooked, go flat, we got it off, let's go get out there and do it. Good, the beautiful traffic in the Texas Hill Country. So, all right, I'll talk a little louder. Um, this one is a straight cut gear. If you look at it, the gear doesn't really have um, it's kind of dark, so I don't know. We'll, who knows how, how this will end up. I'm further out. So, it's straight cut gear. It can be flipped. Let's get to uh, Chief Secrets uh, tip of the day. Um, you might not have a... Go over here. You might not have a Donovan Aluminum Hemi to use as your tools, but don't be afraid. Remember, we are in training. Where's our lighting? All right. This may help, may not help. All right, let's see if this is better. Uh, tip of the day, do not use gasoline. You want something to burn slow. If you're at home, lighter fluid. This is solvent from the parts washer and it's not very flammable. It is flammable, but if you burn gasoline, um, instead of burning the box too fast, then it won't work. Change any of the things that my uncle would do and I've learned it ain't gonna work. Do it exactly as Chief said to do it. All right, Chief. Up in heaven, we're doing it just your way. So, normally you'd have the box, if you're buying a new one, you'd have the box that this came in, and that's what Chief would do. Pull this out of the box, he'd put a little solvent on the box, he'd put the ring gear on it, and you're ready to go. Damn, I wish I had a cigar now. Um, it burns real slow, as you can tell. It might not even ever light up. All right, a little slow process. Like I said, you want it to burn slow. And the box is normally a little bit um, smaller than this, but not a problem. Go. While that's warming up, what tools are we going to need? We're going to need something to grab the ring gear um, and put it on. So we don't need much in special tools. What special tools do we need? Do we need a a fire in the Texas Hill Country. I know it looks a little scary. Don't anybody be calling 911? We got it under control. Isn't that cool? I don't know. I think it's cool. You know, man, fire, hot, ah, you know, we're just get off on stuff like that. Did y'all see that? I don't know if you saw that, but there it is, it's on. Done. Go ahead and spin the ring gear as you're putting it on to cool down, and you're done. Tip of the day. You're done, that's it. We'll put the fire out now, and what special tools did you need? Thanks, Chief. Thanks, everybody. All right, we'll end this video. Let's go back inside. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm showing you how simple it really was. Um, that's actually me burning a box and putting the ring gear on. Um, it's real simple. The video may have not been really good in out back the lighting, um, but the, the premise of what I did is what's important. I've explained to you how to do it, and then you just got to see through my back, or I don't know if, where my camera was or not, um, me actually doing it. So um, it may seem kind of like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. Maybe now you do know. If this was anything informative, educational, entertaining, hit the like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell your buds. Tell your friends. Let's not forget our chickens. And let's not forget our neighbors. Um, be kind. And as for me, I'm going to get back to work. And we'll see you on the next one.